Back on St. Trina's Torch. What is the last thing we were doing? I think we just finished up Weeping Peninsula. Did I do Coastal Cave? I probably did. Okay. Mad Pumpkinhead then looking, or judging by the looks of it. That's where we're going next. Mad Pumpkinhead, Knight's Cavalry, we got Patches. And then, what's the other one? The uh, Duelist. Brave Warden Duelist. So a couple, you know, maybe more than a couple bosses in Limgrave, but fair amount of stuff in Limgrave, and then we'll get into Kaelid. Can you parry this guy? Does he have a flail? Can't remember, I think he has a flail. So that's a no. I wonder if you can put him to sleep. Oh, you can. Wait, did it not work? I thought I saw the thing above his head. Okay. He's sleeping. Oh, he's like fully out. And that's how you beat a mad pumpkin head with a torch. Like and subscribe. Okay, anyways. We level up. Endurance or no, faith is at 50. That's as high as I wanted to take it. I'm gonna go vigor to 60 and then we're gonna go and make it nighttime. I think I planned for dex to 40. What's the dex scaling on this again? D. Yeah, honestly, if I'm two handing, it might be better to go strength. Come on, buddy. Damn it. Can't parry that. Come on, I know I can parry that. Pet, is my uh, my shield broken or something? Why is this not working? What, dude, how is this not working? Thank you, finally. I'm pretty sure Knight's Cavalries are immune to sleep. Oh my god, I'm gonna... So sad right now. Oh, come on. It's kind of awkward to parry him because they're up so high, you know? Thank you. Brother. Three horses? That's too many. That's horse abuse. Because what do you get? How selfish can you be, man? Summoning two horses? One fight? Was it two or three? I don't even know. I lost count. That's how many it was. <laughs> it's hard to count to three, apparently. So he could probably parry patches, I imagine. I know you can parry the duelist. I don't know if they will fall asleep, though. Well, well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to the only thing is, if you have the shield out, you lose the Ash of War on this. Which is kind of a bummer. Am I in the right spot? Yeah, it's close enough. Take that. He's spewing. Can you even parry this? Oh my god, stop. Take that. Wait, wait, please. I surrender. No. No surrender. Surrendering is for cowards. Okay, no torrent here, because invasion, unfortunately. Darius, the bloody finger. They simply just run away. I like how this guy gets a name, but the Sanguine Noble doesn't get a name later on. Where's the justice? It's just like some generic NPC. What do I need to level at this point? 
64k, okay. Three heals. Should have maybe rested. It's alright. Surely nothing bad will happen here. Go in. Don't think you can parry that one. I don't know if you can parry that one. I don't know what you can parry at this point in time. It's going nuts. I wonder if he actually falls asleep. Oh, he actually is asleep. Wait, hang on. There we go. Oh, he doesn't actually get the uh, fully put to sleep. Good night, Mr. Duelist. Alright, Tree Sentinel. Go into the first step. It's funny, if I actually say good night, it actually means something on this run. <laughs> I say that a lot, but now I actually can put things to sleep. No idea if you can sleep this guy. You can parry him, but honestly, I don't know how I feel about parrying Tree Sentinels. Although this is not too bad, actually. When I was doing it on the Falchion run, it was not great because the Falchion is just kind of bad for it. Because it, uh... Like, as soon as you hit them after they get parried and when they get staggered, they will, like, bounce away from you. And the problem with the Falchion is it has a, uh, it has a charged R2 where it's like a two-part attack and the first part doesn't deal much damage. And it pushes the tree sentinel away before you can get the second part of the attack in, which does the most damage. So it's just very frustrating. This is fine though, because the charge R2 is just that. Camera. This is definitely going to be a slow run, but that's all right. I kind of expected it to be. It's a torch. Like, of course, it's going to be slow. I'm just waiting for a YouTube video. Torches are OP in Elden Ring. If torches are OP in Elden Ring, then you know everything is OP in Elden Ring. Also, the torches vary so much. You can stop attacking now. Nighty night, sweet prince. They call me the Sandman. You know what I think would have been cool? If the, for the Knight's Cavalry, if you could actually put the horse to sleep. And then, like, the Knight's Cavalry has, like, an animation. Or, like, the the rider has an animation for, like, getting off the horse or something. Or, like, kicking it to wake up or something. Something like that, I think, would have been neat. Cannot level. Crucible Knights, I wonder if you can put them to sleep. Like, it slaps the horse trying to wake it up, yeah, or, like, kicks it or something, or, like, you know, whatever, uh, hits it with his heel. I didn't look at what the Tree Sentinel did. That might have done something similar, honestly. I wonder if, like, if you have good poise, if it's easier to not get knocked back by that. 
Honestly, though, like, I, I started running through those flames because it's faster to run through them. If you know you can tank the damage, you've got to be kidding. Oh, my God. Might not be faster here because I just kind of wasted some time. But I think you can only get hit once by them. But yeah, you need to get hit like before the end of the cycle so you can actually start running through it and not run after it's already gone. So that's my bad. Watchdog number two. Easiest one. This is another dungeon that I don't think I hit on my first playthrough. I've never found this one somehow. Just never uh, looked for it. I don't know if you can parry that. What are you doing? Silly cat. Poor guy. Imagine getting one shot by a torch. What is the damage split on this again? Okay, very high fire. I can't do the math of that in my head, but it's definitely way more fire than physical, so. Magma worms are gonna suck. Uh, Moog is gonna be rough. And then obviously Rikard is gonna be a very long fight. Fire giant. Be kind of long. Damn it. Oh, you can put Crucible Knights to sleep. Probably not, actually. Probably like the fake sleep or whatever. Like they get stunned or whatever. Damn, can't jump that quick, apparently. But yeah, I want to put another one to sleep because I want to see I want to see what their animation is. Or I just want to see like if they even fall asleep. I'm guessing they just, you know, get staggered or whatever. What is next? The Bellberry Hunter. Should be a fun one. You can parry him. He takes two parries to stagger. Parry his tail? Can you actually parry his tail? If you can, that is sick. Although I imagine it looks quite odd if that's a thing. Don't think so. Be cool if he could, though. I mean, there's some attacks that I wouldn't have expected you could parry that you can parry in this game. Like omens punching you? You can parry that. I think I parried a demi-human who was trying to punch me too, or something, or bite me? I don't know. Maybe I'm making that one up. Night times, almost daytime. Not well. Not well. Not well, he says. Good talking to you, Brunel. I got a fight to do. We haven't fought one of these guys yet, right? Oh, yeah, he went to sleep. Can't parry that, I don't think. What does he do? Yeah, he just kind of kneels over. Ah, damn it. Hey, Sertita. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Oh, lag. Jesus. Bad timing. <laughs> staggered by the parry, and then two hits later, immediately staggered again. That's fun. Deathbird's probably your sleeping immune, I imagine. They kind of just seem like they're immune to everything. Except for Holy.
Why I am not two handing, I do not know. PETA, arrest this bird. It's killed wildlife everywhere. All right, I'll put it down. At least I don't just needlessly kill wildlife. I might kill horses, but you know, it's because they're fighting me. The harmless creatures of this world, though, never harm them. Intentionally. Sometimes, you know, there are casualties for certain weapons. Or maybe you're just in a bad spot and there happens to be a random ram somewhere or sheep, whatever. Or a bird. Okay, closer to 60 Vigor. Almost there. What's this boss? Black Knife Assassin. Actually, I actually don't know if they're sleep immune or not. I have no idea. We'll find out, though. Probably. Actually, maybe not on this one, because this one doesn't have a lot of health. But there's like four other ones that we'll fight. You can parry Black Knife Assassins, too. I feel like it's a little tricky, though, because they are so fast. I don't know if you can parry that one. I don't really know what you can and can't parry. You can parry that? Okay, that's good to know. I feel like you can probably you can probably pair that thrust. Fittest Falchion only all bosses in this game? Which game? PS1? How was it? Here we go. We're going uh blah, 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 blah. no actually right back to here. Don't need Alexander, because this Ash War doesn't deal any damage whatsoever. Leaving poor Jar in the ground? Yeah, he's serious no use for this run. If he comes out of the ground, he dies, so it's probably better this way. Might do a DS2 run soon? I actually am going to be doing a DS2 YouTube run for the first time in like two months. It's going to be very rusty. Can't wait. Restream streak for Let's Eat Cake. Nice, man. Plus 350. Oh, I'm so dead. Ugh. Try that again. Think you can put the golem to sleep? I'm gonna guess no. We'll definitely hit him enough times because I can't repost him for, you know, half his health and damage. Can't parry him though either. Infusion? I don't remember to be honest. I'm trying to remember. What did I roll? I'd have to look it up. I can't remember. Might be fire, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, he's resistant to fire for sure, and we're in water. And that doesn't help. That sword is great in a faith build. Is it really? It doesn't scale with faith, does it? I didn't look too closely at it, to be honest. Blue Dancer Charm. Mm -hmm. 
how much more am I going to get from this? Let me see. 511. 513. Yeah, okay. Well, probably be, would be better without, like, the shielded armor, but I kind of like what I'm rocking with here, so it'll be fine. How long do you think that straight sword helmet run will take? I, I mean, I'm, like, through ONS on it. It's probably going to take me a lot longer to do, honestly. Uh, where are we going? Brain no work. Going to Groveside Cave. Where is it? Yeah, that's straight sword hilt run. I'm trying to think, right? I gotta do everything after ONS. Still have to do Four Kings. Still gotta do all the DLC. I don't think I did Hydra. Probably not. It's gonna take a long time, and I don't think I'm gonna work on it until the hand list is, like, fully up on YouTube. Thoughts on ONS? New Game Plus? It sucked. <laughs> it was, like, an hour-plus long fight. But I needed to get through ONS so I could get the Lord Vessel because I needed to get to, uh, like right before Nido with the Skeleton Babies. That's such a good humanity farming spot. And I needed to get there for that because humanity is going to be very important on that run. I think the DLCs will be absolutely miserable. Or DLC, not DLCs, plural. One DLC. The DLC bosses will be miserable. And Four Kings. Everything else should be fine. Well, Moonlight Butterfly, I got to uninfuse for. So that'll probably be near the end, but. I don't know, I gotta think about how I'm gonna do that. Because then I'd have to reinfuse for Gwyn or something. Yeah, but I can't guarantee that I'll be on the Strange Sword Hill before Elden Ring DLC comes out. I would like to be, but I, I don't know if it's gonna happen. This guy fall asleep? Oh. He's snoozing. He's also, like, staggered, so... I wanna... I just wanna see what happens here. Does he actually go to sleep? Or does he just shake it off? No, he goes to sleep! And then he can hit his head again. Watching season one of Tokyo Ghoul, is that an anime? White snake hating anime. Oh, hey, can you put these guys to sleep? Have I fought a dragon yet? I don't think I have. Oof. I don't think you can. Dragons are sleep immune. Bummer. Where's the sleep dragon, by the way? Oh, maybe we get one in DLC. It does like a... A, um, whatchamacallit, who's the boss? x -Ike's attack, right? Instead of coding the... Literally everything in Rot, you get coded in sleep. No EP drakes. Where's Sin when you need him? DS2. I still can't believe how long it's been since I've done a DS2 run on stream. It's been over two months. I, I think that I finished the Bone Fist, like, before the new year. It just kind of blows my mind that it's been that long. Oh, that's the wrong way. I don't know how I made that mistake. I assume Falling Star Beasts are probably immune to sleep. But he's pretty... He's, he's sleeping right there. I mean... Who knows?
All right, what's next? Nox duo? Oof, that's gonna be annoying. Nox duo with the Hannah Mulaney was great. Nox duo with this? It's gonna be the opposite of that. Although I got pretty lucky with the Hannah Mulania because I hit both of them with Waterfowl at the same time. If I didn't, I probably would have gotten knocked out of it. So I think we will go... Let's go to the round table real quick just to get Melina out of our hair for a bit. Can they be slipped? Probably. I still think think they'll be annoying. They do a lot of backstepping. Like I'm just in the ground. The heck? What is this? Is that a random, like, bottle? Did I just... I, I think I warped right to the round table or something. What did I just do? I did. I warped to the round table. Wait, no, why is it... Oh, it's because I... The last place I rested was the round table, so I couldn't warp back here the same way I would if I didn't warp to the round table the first time. Back in Kaelin. Yeah, I think this fight's gonna be horribly annoying, but I don't know, maybe it'll be okay. I wonder if anything happens if you put one of them to sleep, but not the other. Whoops. Well, they get staggered though, which is nice. Do they even go to sleep? Am I gonna be able to even put them to sleep? I feel like I'm gonna do too much damage before they even have a chance to go to sleep. If you do this. Take it now. Ah, just staggers him. Not surprising. Oh, insane delay. I can't remember where you get the flowing hammer. Is that in Nocron or something? Must be. Or Noxtel, like one of the underground cities. I don't know which one. One of them, though. Hey, what? How did he fall asleep so late? I wasn't even hitting there. What if hitting the summons actually made him fall asleep? That'd be wild. I think he just, um, gets staggered when you hit him, or when you put him to sleep, I mean. Close his eyes for a second. And we run. Literally, no stamina. They're not gonna save you, O'Neal. They can't even save themselves. Damn it. I think I got a headshot on one of those. Deathbird next. Deathbird Knight's Cavalry with a flail, so we can't parry him. Then X Sykes. X Sykes, this should actually be like decent versus X Sykes, because I think X Sykes is weak to fire. X Sykes is weak to everything, but I think maybe more weak to fire. Although well, I'm not entirely sure about that. I mean, it's still not going to be great, because it's a torch, but 
It could be okay. Let's see, more vigor, almost to 60. Interesting, I don't think I've ever seen a death bird or a death rate bird start with that scream. I wasn't even facing the right way either. Two hand, please. You get a good shot at Redmate from here. I don't think I ever really looked in that direction. Uh oh. I hate this combo of attacks because when he does that, where he just shoots the projectiles from his wings, I want to go towards him, but you can't because there's a giant star-shaped figure on the ground. Waiting for him to fall off at this point. We are so close to the edge here. Go swim. That one went through his hand. What the heck, man? Stop. Thank you. Dead. And the Knight's Cavalry. Way in the distance. Kinda works out, because I have to go that way for XX. Although I kinda have to go more to the left from where he is right now. Not that it matters. I cannot see. One more hit on the horse, maybe? Nice. Yeah, there was still so much to do in Kaelin. Where did we start the Hannibal Lanny run today? I'm trying to remember. I think we started it in Gale Tunnel. So that was like, I think 38 bosses in. So we're probably like low 30s right now. About a fifth of the way through the game, more or less. Level... almost 60 vigor. Getting close. I think if there was any dragon that would be sleep immune or resistant or whatever, not, uh, like, weak to sleep, it would be this one. I know it's not, but... But considering XX is weak to literally everything else... This is the one dragon I could see actually not resisting it, if that were a thing. I'm dealing 600 damage per hit. For the torch. 827 on an R2. But again, XX has like an insane amount of health. Wonder if there's like a lore reason for that. To be honest, there might be. Like why XX is so tanky. XX is like a very old, like feels like a very old dragon. Mass had a lot of health in their lifetime, but can't really fight anymore, which is why it's weak to everything. I mean, just look at it. It's like patches of missing skin everywhere, literally decaying.
go. It's a bound spot for this. Okay, maybe not that bound. My stamina's failing me. So what's next? Jail Cave? Jail Cave, Mad Pumpkinhead Duo, then the Putrid Avatar and the Eritree Burial Watchdog. This shouldn't be good for the Putrid Avatar. They are weak to fire. And then we have to do the Dragon Bear one in a bit too. Even though like this thing does fire damage though, I don't think it's a ton of fire damage. You know, it's a torch, so I guess that makes sense, but I don't know. Maybe it's like a, a decent amount. I don't I don't really know. 60 Vigor, and then we'll go... I think I'm, I'll do Dex. Although I should maybe do Endurance. I feel like I've been running out of stamina. Oh, it's so nice having light in these tunnels uh, for once. I'd love that. Can't get through there. Mm, oh god, how am I lost? It's, it's this way, right? Somehow, still yet lost in this cave. I don't know how. Ran through it a million times. How are we in Stone Sword Keys? 13. I probably have used 5, so I think we actually are good. Might be good. I need 6 more for Alt. Actually, yeah, 6 for Altus. 7 for Altus. 11? I need 11? I don't know. I think we're okay, though. I still want to try and parry this guy. I wasn't able to do it with the Falchion run. I don't know that you can. Maybe you can parry his foot. Damn. Probably can't parry that. Oh, you can parry the axe. All right. I don't know if you can parry every attack, though. Damn it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop trying now. Mad Pumpkin Head Duo. That's who is next. I'm gonna actually get this grace. I don't think there's a stake in this, uh, whatchamacallit? Ruins? I can't remember, but I don't know how rough this fight's gonna be with this, so I'm just gonna grab the, uh, the grace here. If I can find it. There it is. Straight ahead. Got the telescope there, too. 